everyone, welcome to project number three, our uh, Kiddush Cup slime that looks like grape juice. Uh, you'll see for this project in your box, you got a bottle of clear glue, um, a bottle of our slime activator, a little bag with some baking soda, and then from home, you'll need a third of a cup of hot water, which we've already measured out, a spoon, and your mixing bowl. So, Miss Aubrey's going to take a second to move the mixing bowl so you guys can see it better. And in your mixing bowl to start, you're going to add your entire bottle of clear glue as well as the hot water and stir it. It doesn't have to be stirred perfectly at this point, but you do want to make sure that the water and the glue are fully incorporated. Uh, and then from your bag, you're going to take a half a teaspoon of baking powder and pour that in and continue to stir. So I'm using one of my kitchen spoons for this. So to measure that out, you wanna do about half of your kitchen spoon. So about this much. And you'll see that Miss Aubrey's stirring nice and well, making sure that, that baking soda is all the way through. One of the mistakes that people sometimes make when they're making slime is that they let their ingredients kind of clump up rather than mixing them in really thoroughly. Um, so once Miss Aubrey has mixed that completely, she's gonna use some of her slime activator. Uh, I recommend that you kind of shake the bottle a little first. You'll see that there's some glitter and some dye in there that's gonna make your slime look more like grape juice and you wanna make sure that that's all in there. And then as you're squirting that in, you want to stir and you're going to squirt in just enough to start to get a slimy consistency. And it'll probably be most of the bottle. And so you'll see that Miss Aubrey right now has kind of a loose slime. It's really stretchy and uh, fun to play with, but maybe not quite as thick as you'd like. So if you want your slime to come out a little bit thicker, you can continue to add some more baking soda from your bag until it's reached the consistency that you'd like. And as you're adding baking soda, you wanna just make sure that you're spreading it out and mixing it in really well. Oh, look at that. That looks like so much fun. So you can take it out and put it on the table to knead. Or you can play with it in the bowl, depending on what else is on your table. Um, but you definitely want to make sure that you store this either in a Ziploc bag or in a Tupperware container to make sure that it doesn't dry out. You can see that Miss Aubrey has now dumped the purple slime out onto the table and she's going to go ahead and knead it to finish stiffing it up. And it'll still stretch and be goopy, but if you hit it hard against something, it becomes a solid. Until next time, have fun.